handstand. This is the K1 Interstellar Robot. Hey K1. I'm here. Say hello. Hello, I'm K1. This is a programmable robot. Connection established. Start programming. You're getting ahead of yourself here. This is a robot that you can program. And it also answers to voice commands and has 17 different servo motors. So it's got some serious moves. Do you know Kung Fu? Now to control it, I have to use its app. Uh, the app is for Android and Apple. So there are a few ways to play on the app to learn programming in different ways. Uh, the whole idea is that it gets you curious, it gets you tinkering, and the more you poke around, the more you learn, and it's really basic or advanced depending on how far you want to go with it. Or you could just use it as a remote control. Like I could just move them up and down, go this way. <laughs> little shuffle, shuffle, little double punch. Rhythm. And there's a couple of fun things here like augmented reality. So I could actually turn my uh, camera to be able to see him and make a little video if I wanted to. So that's kind of cool. I could record a video of him doing some moves. We got Funky Wiggle, we got Cyberpunk. What's Cyberpunk? This goes on. I can do a more advanced type of programming. What's a typical graphical interface where I'm uh, telling it to move certain things, certain degrees, and I'm just gonna randomly pick a few things here just to be totally random and see what happens. And oh, I have to unlock. Oh, that's interesting. You have to do some basic programming before you can unlock some of the preset fun moves. I like that. Let's program something with voice commands. Close combat. Twist butt. Pose to take off. Ready to strafe. Mountain running. Executing. I just programmed a robot. Now this isn't the first robot we've seen from Robosyn. Early last year, I got to check out the T9. It was at the New York Toy Fair, and this thing transformed into a vehicle that you could drive around. It was a real life Transformers. Now the K1 here doesn't transform into a car because the company wanted to create something at a lower price point, but the company did put a lot more effort into different ways you could program the K1 in its app. To get a little bit more of the backstory behind the K1 and to see what's coming up next for the company, I spoke with John Wong of Robosyn. Not everyone's going to take it and programming and dive deep into it. So at the same time, we like to make it easy for people to slowly get into it. So if the K1 is also voice command, you can voice program the robot by asking K1 to move forward, you know, move back, jump, do push up, and have it execute and store those programs and have it run without any equipment, without any computer or mobile devices to program it. The first units of the K1 are shipping later this month. Now, the prices are gonna vary. I have here the Pro model. That's the model in gray. It has the most features when it comes to voice commands, and it's gonna retail at $300, but there will be less expensive versions. In my short time with the K1, this thing is pretty cool, I gotta say. Definitely got the kids interested. What's a CES without a robot dance party? Let's break it down. For more on CES 2021, be sure to go to CNET.com. Mm, mm, mm. Go K1. I think he's proposing to me. <laughs> <laughs>